Scotland forwards coach Dan McFarlane says the current team's high-tempo brand of rugby mirrors the style of great Scottish sides of the past. Head coach Gregor Townsend wants his side to play the fastest rugby in the test arena, and McFarlane says that is in keeping with Scottish traditions. It's an attractive brand of rugby, the kind that people want to watch, said Englishman McFarland, 45. I also think that it suits the Scottish legacy I grew up watching. Scotland's 1990 Grand Slam heroes captured McFarland's imagination as a young prop making his way in the game with Richmond before he moved on to Stade Francais and then Connacht, where he forged his coaching career. He believes the current Scotland squad has the ability to play at a tempo even the world's best will struggle to live with. New Zealand and Australia also visit Murrayfield over the coming weeks. The legacy that I grew up watching in the Five Nations was about high tempo and being able to run the opposition off their feet, said McFarland who moved with Townsend from Glasgow Warriors to the Scotland setup in the summer. We want to play at pace, and for the forwards that means being accurate but pushing the tempo. We're a fit team. And there are players who will run fast for a long time. We want to take advantage of that. Some feel the style employed by Scotland and Glasgow can unravel in the face of sustained pressure from a powerful opposition pack, pointing to Warriors' recent Champions Cup defeats to Exeter and Leinster as evidence. It is not a notion McFarland entertains and believes Glasgow would not currently boast a perfect PRO 14 record of eight wins from eight matches without being able to handle the physical battle. Don't forget, Glasgow are top of the PRO 14, McFarlane responded when asked if Scotland could be targeted up front as Glasgow were in those European defeats. This is not a team that gets walked over week in, week out. There are young players in the tight five there, and I think their development is accelerating rapidly. There's a lot of energy with those guys. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they go over the next three games. Edinburgh prop Daryl Marfo makes his debut against Simola, with fellow loose head, Glasgow's Jamie Batty, poised to win his first cap off the bench, along with Warriors hooker George Turner. <laughs>